Hmm. Checking me out. There's four of them in this tree. Just hanging out. Yep, they're here all the time. This is sort of their neighborhood, but I've never gotten into it. They've never been this close to me. They're usually quite a bit higher up in the trees. These are sulfur crested cockatoos, yellow crested cockatoos. Um, the legend is the British governor of Hong Kong had an exotic bird collection when the Japanese invaded in December of 1941. Rather than let the Japanese troop take his birds, he opened the windows and opened the cages and let the birds fly out into the jungle where they thrived and created their own colony. So this is not a native species to Hong Kong. Uh, this is basically a war refugee uh, from the World War II attacks on Hong Kong. And there's four of them here, but I usually see double that amount in these trees. We're just on May Road in the mid-levels, just up by my house. We just finished walking down the peak when we got disconnected. I'm Penguin 6. I give you hiking tours of Hong Kong every day as I go for 20,000 Fitbit steps. So if you slide your finger and follow my profile, you'll get views like this. Not every day. We do see cockatoos quite a bit, though. Hello. Another one up there. Count three. Oh, there he goes. Now there's two. Yeah, I don't know what he's eating. There's some sort of fruit on this tree. This one's still checking me out. He's not entirely sure about me. I do periscope through the city every day. You know what, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna scare the poor guys. Oh, there's the third one over there. Oh God, I'm holding in the sneeze. <laughs> That's painful. But I don't want them to get scared away. Ah, God, I hate holding sneezes. Hey, Australia. I think these, these are Australian or Indonesian. That's where they're native to. And the British governor brought them here in 1940s and then they release them all rather than have the Japanese basically turn them into lunch and now they just sort of thrive all over the city sulfur crested cockatoos it's one of those legends that can never really be proven but they didn't appear until during the war yeah yeah they're not native so there's these fruit thingies in the tree, these little berry thingies, and that's what these guys are eating. Yeah, I think these are really expensive in the US. They're like a thousand bucks or something like that. But uh, here, they're kind of everywhere. Let's see if we can get this one over here. I'm kind of afraid they're gonna like Oh, sorry. 